Imagine that this set of Christmas lights is your vagus nerve and it's running from your brain down to the heart with another branch that also runs below the diaphragm and it spreads out with the lights touching almost every organ in your abdominal region. Just like the Christmas lights, the vagus nerve has these really long tails or axons and that's what allows it to send these messages right down from the colon up to your brain quite quickly. 80% of those messages, just like these lights here, are communicating signals upwards to the brain. And what's really interesting is although we often think that the brain is controlling the body, the body is actually sending this really important information up to the brain that then changes our physiology. Some of this information we will be aware of, like when we walk up a hill and our heart is pounding in our chest, but a lot of this information won't reach our conscious awareness. That has to do with things that are happening in our gut. It could also be things like our pH and our blood pressure. So this is why the vagus nerve plays a role in both our emotional regulation or how we feel, as well as our physical health. We can imagine that chronic and traumatic stress cause some of the lights to flicker. And this might impact those messages being sent up to the brain. We know that when that happens, it can influence the way the vagus nerve balances our systems and organs. And this is what can lie at the heart of some conditions like IBS, but also anxiety and depression. So when we talk about learning to regulate our nervous system, we are essentially improving this communication right throughout our Christmas lights so that all of the lights are sending this important information from the body up to the brain so the brain can decide what to do and how to change our physiology. So when we talk about regulating our nervous system, what we're looking to do is improve the communication flow through the Christmas lights or through the vagus nerve so that we can balance our organs and systems as well as regulate our emotions. If we have stress-related illnesses, this can help to really get to the root cause of the condition, particularly things like gut disorders, burnouts, pain, and inflammation. I believe that this kind of education is the key to regulation. And if this is something you'd like to learn more about, I'll pop the details below of where you can learn more.